Um, good morning, my dear students and listener. I am Isumna Fuchidebube from Community High School, Ibari. I'm, uh, I'm here to present a lesson for Anambra State Teaching on Air, a program approved by His Excellency Chief Willie Obiano of Anambra State. It is initiated by our dear Honorable Commissioner for Basic Education, Professor Kate Omenuha. The project is coordinated by Mr. Patrick Okeke of Post Primary School Service, OKA. Um, the subject I'm going to take you is the uh, mathematics. Okay, do listen and enjoy with me. Now, if you have been to England or Iceland, you find out that most times the uh, temperature there is too low to the extent that it will have a very negative value. It is a negative temperature, right? So the number value of it is negative. Also, um, <laughs> uh, sometimes, especially this uh, era of uh, the pandemic, coronavirus, uh, if someone is infested by that uh, uh, virus, the temperature of that person will be too high. It will have a positive value instead of negative so it's too high so the number value is positive okay uh, when you have no money in your bank account and you are further charged by the bank you will see that your bank account tends to be negative your account balance tries to be negative like you can see in this uh, picture i've shown here that the balance of this person is negative uh, 96.13 dollars Okay, sometimes if you're infected with coronavirus, like I said earlier, your temperature will be very high. Okay, this leads us into a very nice topic in mathematics known as directed uh, numbers. So the topic is directed numbers. <laughs> okay, now lesson objectives. Let's see the objectives you are expected to achieve by the end of the lesson. Uh, number one, you should be able to define directed numbers. Two, you should be able to perform operations involving directed numbers. Three, you should be able to use number line to perform operations involving directed uh, numbers. And finally, you should be able to apply directed numbers in real uh, life. Okay, now, Let's see the meaning of these directed numbers we've talked about. Uh, just like the slides I've shown earlier in this lesson, you see where uh, the temperature of Iceland is too negative. Also, if you are sick, your temperature tends to have a very high negative uh, value. So all these negatives and positives put together gives us a number called directed uh, numbers. Okay. And that is why we say that directed numbers are those numbers which have a direction and a size. It has a size and also a direction, right? So what, what I mean by direction here is that it can either be going towards the negative direction or positive uh, direction. So all these numbers you know in this slide that is either negative or positive gives us what we call a directed uh, number. Okay. Now, let's see some examples of directed numbers. There are many of them. Uh, you can have uh, the positive and the negative numbers are directed uh, numbers. Take note, please. Zero is not a directed number because it has no direction. Zero has no direction. As a result, it is not a directed uh, number. So you can see some examples of directed numbers below. You can have positive two, you can have uh, negative four, you can have positive five, positive eight, etc. So all these direct numbers, you know, that are either positive or negative, but not neutral, are all called directed uh, numbers. Okay, now let's see the rules for adding directed numbers, the rules for adding or subtracting directed numbers. You can see in the picture displayed below, uh, plus plus is giving us plus minus minus is plus plus minus is minus minus plus is minus 
Now, in general, when the signs are similar, just like plus, plus, or minus, minus, it gives us a positive result, plus. But once the signs are different, whether plus, minus, or minus, uh, plus, we have negative result, okay? Um, we also have a rule for multiplying directed numbers, uh, just like we have for multiply, uh, um, uh, addition and subtraction. So here, plus, plus, when plus is times in plus or minus is times in minus, it gives us positive result. So the same, sign, same signs are positive, Why different signs are negative, just like you have plus, minus, and minus, uh, plus. Okay, um, now let us go into details to see the way these directed numbers can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or even uh, divided. Okay, example number one says a quick test. Not even example, let's see the, a quick test that will help us to tackle um, addition, subtraction problems. Okay. Um, now number one, when you have minus six, minus eight, now, apart from the rules I've told you, I want you to see negative numbers as what you are owing someone. Why positive numbers will be what you have. So positive is what you own, own, you can get what you have. Why negative is what you are owing someone, your debts. All right, so minus six minus eight implies that you are owing A, six, and the minus eight implies you are owing B, eight. All, all together, you will see that you are owing 14. That's six and eight. You owe two persons six and eight. All together, you are owing 14. Therefore, minus six minus eight will give us minus uh, 14. Then again, when you have minus six plus eight, minus six implies that you are owing Mr. A six, plus eight implies that you have six. It means that in Kaliopi Kota, you can pay your debts. Because what you have is more than what you are owing. Therefore, from that eight you have, you can comfortably pay the six you are owing. Then you have a leftover of two. That's why we have plus two there. Number three, plus six minus eight implies you are owing, you have six. Minus eight implies you are owing someone six, eight. So you see that what you have is less than what you are owing. Therefore, you pay the six which you have, and you have a balance of two. That is why it is minus two. You can see question four, plus six plus eight implies you have six in one bank account and you have eight in another bank account. Altogether, your total amount is 14. Now, six minus minus eight. Please take note, whenever you see double negative signs, it will tend to positive. Whenever negative signs are in between two numbers, minus, minus, like I told you in the trick for multiplication, we then turn towards plus. Therefore, six minus minus eight will give us six plus eight, which is uh, 14. Then minus six minus plus eight will give us um, minus 14. How? Please, whenever two signs that are different, just like minus plus or plus minus are in between two numbers. Minus is always stronger than plus. So it will be minus six minus eight, which is just like in example one, giving us minus 14. Okay, now let's take a, a look at this question. This is a, uh, uh, this topic is basically for JS2 students, but because it's a part of uh, the topics you write in uh, Junior Wayek, the Bese, <laughs> is okay for JS3 students too. So it serves them as a revision. Just like you can see in this question number one, it is it came out in Bese 2010. Okay, and it says we should simplify 27 plus 18 minus 10 in bracket, 10 minus 14, then minus minus 2. Let's see the solution. Okay, we have uh, minus 27 plus 18, uh, minus into bracket 10 minus 18, 10 minus 14, minus minus uh, 2. Okay, um, 
we must apply the rule of board mass here to be able to tackle this problem. Okay, and bracket first according to board mass. That's why in the bracket where you have 10 minus 14, it is giving us minus uh, 4. All right? Then where you have minus minus 2, minus minus must change to plus like I've told you. So we have minus 27 plus 18 minus minus 4 plus 2. Again, that point where you have 18 minus minus 4, it must turn to plus because minus minus will now be plus. So we have minus 27 plus 18 will give us a minus 9. Then minus minus 4 turns to plus 4, then plus 2. Minus 9 plus 4 is uh, minus 5. And minus 5 plus 2 will give us minus 3 as the answer. Now let's go to question 2, which says we should simplify um, minus 4 into 3 minus 5 plus 10 minus 3 into 7 plus 4 plus 30. This is best at 2013. So let's see the solution to this question. Okay, you must apply board mass also. And the board mass is telling us that we should clear the brackets first. Okay. So take a look at this question again. Now, where you have 3 minus 5 in the bracket, it will turn to minus 2. Where you have 7 plus 4 in the bracket, it will turn to 11. Then that minus 4 outside the bracket will times minus 2. And minus times minus turns to plus. So we have uh, um minus 4 times minus 2 as plus 8. Then uh, minus 3 will times 11 in the bracket. Take note, don't just say 10 minus 3 to get 7 is wrong. The minus 3 is attached to the bracket. You have to use it to open it first. So minus 3 times 11 will give us minus uh, 33, then plus 30. Okay? So 8 plus 10 is 18. And minus 33 plus 30 is minus 3. When you take it, subtract 3 from 18, you will get a 15 as the answer. Okay, question 3 is also best at 2011. Here you have minus 13 minus minus 3 plus minus 10. Okay, um, look at the question again. Minus minus 3 must turn to plus. And where you have plus minus 10, you take minus. That's why we have uh, minus 13 plus 3, then minus 10. And minus 13 plus 3 will give us minus 10. Then minus 10 again, we'll have uh, minus 20 as the answer. Okay, uh, take a look at question number 4. This is also best equation 20, um, best equation 2014. Here you have 12 minus 7 minus minus 5. Okay, see the solution? Uh, the minus minus 5 must turn to plus 5. That's why we have 12 minus 7 plus uh, 5. Because minus minus is positive. Then uh, 12 minus 7 will give us 5 plus the other 5. We'll have the answer as a 10. So you see that all these things are quite simple. Just know the rules like I've told you in the previous slides I've shown here. Okay, question five says uh, 16 plus 5.6 plus 0 0.681. Best at 2016. This is also simple. There is no negative sign, so you just add straight to get your answer. No negative sign, just add straight. So 16 plus 5.6 plus 0 0.681. When you add 16 and 5.6, you'll be getting 21.6. Then plus 0 0.681. When you add this up, it will give you 22.281. Question number six. This is talking about division problems. Here you have 100 divided by minus 2. Okay, now normally uh, minus 100 divided by minus 2, when you see two negative signs in division like we've seen, you have to um, 
can, it has to cancel out because minus minus is plus. So we are just having just 100 divided by 2. Minus will cancel minus. And this is automatically give us positive uh, 50. In number 7, we have a uh, plus 5 times minus uh, 7. Okay, when the signs are different, it must be negative result, like I told you. So when we have plus and minus, it must be negative. And 5 times 7 is just uh, 35. So adding the negative sign, we have to get minus uh, 35. More of the question, we have... Uh, Minus 15 plus minus 5 in bracket divided by minus 4. According to board mass, we must clear the bracket first. And where you're having plus minus 5, you take minus. That's why we have uh, minus 15 minus uh, 5, then divided by minus 4. And minus 15 minus 5 will give us minus 20. Then divided by minus 4. As usual, minus minus turns to positive. That gives us positive uh, 5. Okay? So more questions. Question number 9 says uh, 9 times um, minus 5. Then times minus 7. 9 times minus 5 times minus 7. Okay. You can see the problem here again. Uh, normally, minus 9 times minus 5 will give us positive 45. And the plus 45 will 9 times minus 7. The answer must be negative. That gives us minus 3, 1, 5. Okay. Um, addition and subtraction of uh, numbers using what we call the number line. So what's the number line? It is just a straight line extending to infinity in both negative and positive uh, directions. It shows the relative uh, order of real uh, numbers. So this number line is just a straight line in one dimension. A straight line in one dimension is called the number line. It is used to um, add and subtract uh, uh, directed numbers. The center is always zero. Why the left will now be negative numbers from negative one to negative infinity. The right will now be positive numbers from positive one to positive uh, infinity. Okay, look at the uh, typical example of the number line. We are the positive sides will be from one to 20 ETC. Negative side will now fall to the left. Yeah, you have a uh, minus one to in negative uh, infinity. Okay, now let's take a question. Let's see how we can add or subtract using this number line. So we have to use the number line to add three and four. What you just need to do is to um, begin where you see the first number. The first number in the equation is just three plus four. So go to three, which is the first number you are seeing. When it is plus, you are moving to the uh, right. When it is minus, you are moving to the left. So because I'm seeing 3 plus 4, I will just go start from 3 and move into 4 places. So if I move 1, it lands at 4. I move 2, it lands at 5. I move 3, it lands at 6. Then when I move the fourth one, it lands at uh, 7. So you see that 3 plus 4 will give us a uh, 7. Another problem, we have... Uh, 2 plus 5, stay using the number line. What you just need to do here is to begin from 2, which is the number you are seeing. Because it is plus, I'll move uh, 5 places into the uh, right direction. So i move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see that it will land at uh, 7. Therefore, 2 plus 5 is 7. So the number line is quite essential in adding and subtracting directed uh, numbers. Now this one says we should compute 264 minus 128. Now this is a very big number and if we start writing 1, 2, 3 into the size of the number given, it takes us a lot of time. So because it is minus 128, we are moving in the left direction. So let's assume we move 100 
it will land at 164. If you move into 20 places, it lands at uh, 144. Now, that 100 plus 20 we've moved is 120. So we are still need to move extra eight times. So you move four and move another four. That gives you eight. It will land you at 136. Therefore, 264 minus 128 will give us uh, 136. Okay, now evaluation. Try to examine yourself to ascertain if you've uh, understood what we've discussed uh, today. Um, what are directed numbers? Uh, simplify the problem in number two. Still have number three. Try to simplify them wherever you are to help you to check if you've uh, understood uh, what we've discussed properly. So these are the questions. There are five in number. Use them to evaluate yourself. Number five says, how can you apply directed numbers in real life? Okay, summary. Um, we discussed directed numbers are those numbers which have a direction and their size. We also saw the various mathematical, op saw that the various mathematical operations can be carried out on directed uh, numbers. The temperature readings, profit and loss, debit and credit are all real life manifestations of directed uh, numbers. So I have to uh, give you an assignment, try to deal with the assignment. Um, number one says, what are directed numbers? Number two, simplify 423 minus 86 minus minus six. Simplify minus 54 times minus 67 minus 24 divided by minus six. Uh, you have a problem in number five, still deal with it and use the number line to simplify minus six minus seven. All right, uh, 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 let's we forget. So this directed numbers you see can be applied in real uh, life, can be applied in temperature, checking of temperature, the negative, when your temperature is too low, you have a negative value, too high, you have a positive value. In your bank, when a credit is made, it's positive. When a debit is made, it is a negative, etc. Um, for uh, further studies, lay your hands on these uh, textbooks I'm going to display now. Um, hidden facts in mathematics for junior secondary. Also, essential mathematics, book three for junior secondary. You can uh, browse through these sites here for further studies. Now, for submission and for assignment, you have to reach me via my WhatsApp line, 70068394063, or uh, my email, chuksesomnofu at gmail.com. Thank you for listening, and do have a nice day.